Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 11 a.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, July 2nd, coming on with an update on powerful Hurricane Barrel, Category 5 storm uh, moving across the Caribbean Sea. We're starting off here with the radar imagery from the National Weather Service radar located in Puerto Rico. You can see the eye of Barrel hundreds of miles away, up very high in the atmosphere, uh, uh, moving here steadily off to the west-northwest at 22 miles per hour. Right now, Barrel is centered about 235 miles southeast of the uh, south coast of the Dominican Republic. That's also just over 550 miles to the uh, east-southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. A powerful Category 5 hurricane, maximum sustained winds about 160 miles per hour. Uh, again, moving off to the west-northwest, at 22 miles per hour. Uh, you can see the heavy rain bands starting to affect portions of Puerto Rico, but starting to move in now into portions of the Dominican Republic. The good news is, is we think this morning that barrels intensity has peaked. We've seen the central pressure rise a little bit on the latest data from the uh, Hurricane Hunter aircraft. We've seen the peak winds come down just a tad, but regardless of what happens to the peak winds, we're expecting a powerful hurricane to be moving west-northwestward across the Caribbean Sea over the next several days. This is the forecast out through Friday morning. We're expecting the core of barrel to pass just south of the south coast of Haiti uh, as we go through the day today and into tonight. We have a hurricane watch and a tropical storm warning in effect for the southern coast of Haiti, tropical storm warning in effect for portions of the southern Dominican Republic. So we could see hurricane conditions there. We are expecting tropical storm conditions there, expecting very heavy rainfall there as well that we'll talk about. Uh, we are most concerned about Jamaica, where we're expecting the core of a major hurricane to pass near or over the island during the day tomorrow. So we have a hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica. We are expecting a storm surge of five to eight feet above normal tide levels uh, on the coast of Jamaica, especially concerned in the areas around Kingston, those harbors and on the south side of the island. Going to be a very, very significant wave action on top of that as well. Also expecting the possibility of life-threatening flooding due to heavy rainfall and the potential for devastating impacts if the eye wall of, of barrel moves over the island. Downstream of that, we could see hurricane conditions possible in the Cayman Islands as we go from Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then downstream, expecting barrel to still be a hurricane as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, potentially Belize, potentially some impacts even in western Cuba as we go through the day uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday night, and into Friday morning. So let's step through the risks here. We're talking about, again, this is the possibility of hurricane conditions over the next several days. Uh, possible along the southern coast of Haiti, uh, expected in portions of Jamaica as we go through the day tomorrow. Also the possibility, again, the chances of hurricane force winds in the Cayman Islands and still across the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico as we get later into the week. In terms of the timing of arrival of those tropical storm force winds, uh, expecting them to begin tonight or later today and tonight along the uh, southern coast of Hispaniola, uh, reaching Jamaica early tomorrow morning. So for folks in Jamaica, you have today uh, to complete your preparations, follow any advice you've been given by local officials to get prepared or potential evacuations. You want to be in your safe place where you're going to ride out the storm by nightfall tonight and be prepared to stay in that location through the day on Wednesday. Cayman Islands, we're looking at the arrival of tropical storm force winds Wednesday evening into Wednesday night. Uh, Western Cuba would be during the day Thursday and Thursday evening in the Yucatan Peninsula of, Mexi of Mexico. Uh, on the rainfall front, very concerned about heavy rainfall. This is a big hazard in the Caribbean, especially with the mountainous islands, the areas of topography here. We could be looking at uh, isolated amounts as high as six to eight inches in portions of the southwestern part of the Dominican Republic, central Dominican Republic, six inches, isolated amounts as high as 10 to 12 inches along the southwestern peninsula of Haiti, isolated amounts as high as 12 inches in Jamaica as well, with widespread totals of four to eight inches. This could cause life-threatening flash floods and mudslides in some of these areas. Farther downstream, the potential for heavy rainfall in the Cayman Islands and into Mexico as well. Now let's take a little bit of a step back out and we'll look at the longer range forecast. You know, where is barrel gonna go as we get into the weekend? There's less certainty in the forecast track and intensity of the storm. It'll depend on how much it interacts with land, just how strong barrel will be, how much time it spends over Jamaica, how much of the Yucatan Peninsula it moves over. And then the steering currents get a little weaker as we move into the weekend and barrel moves into the southern Gulf of Mexico. We could see a bit of a slow and slowing 
down of the forward speed, a bit more of a northward turn. So by the time we get into late Saturday or early Sunday, Barrel could be in the vicinity of uh, northeastern Mexico, south Texas, and we'll see how the forecast plays out there as we get later into the weekend and into next week. But folks in the uh, Texas coast, as we go into the holiday weekend here with the 4th of July coming up, you're going to want to make sure you check back on the forecast as we go through the holiday weekend and make sure you're ready for any potential impacts. If we were to see tropical storm conditions affect those areas in the far western Gulf of Mexico, it could uh, would be during the day on Saturday at this point. So again, a couple of things we want to emphasize, re-emphasize the key messages for Barrel. It's expected to remain a powerful hurricane as it moves across the Caribbean Sea. A hurricane warning in effect for Jamaica, that's where we could have multiple life-threatening hazards, uh, dangerous uh, winds in the core of a major hurricane, life-threatening storm surge, life-threatening flash flooding from heavy rainfall. Again, in Jamaica, you want to complete those preparations today, be in your safe place by tonight and be prepared to ride out the storm there tomorrow. Downstream concerns about the Cayman Islands, Mexico as well. Also short-term concerns for heavy rainfall, tropical storm conditions, possibility of hurricane conditions along the southwestern peninsula of Haiti. Uh, again, interests farther downstream, Belize, Yucatan Peninsula, the western Gulf Coast need to monitor barrel. A reminder too that we have Spanish language products on hurricanes.gov, including the key messages that you see here, the public advisory, the tropical cyclone discussion, uh, all that public information is being automatically translated and posted to hurricanes.gov for the Spanish speaking portion of our, of our customer base and population throughout the Caribbean as we move towards Mexico and the Western Gulf region. So a reminder, please stay uh, tuned to hurricanes.gov for more information throughout the day. Listen to any advice you're being given by your local officials and stay tuned for more. We'll be back later on with additional updates on barrel. I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.